Hi, Jenny. I wanted to go ahead and take a minute and review um, what we did yesterday with putting in your um, Bitmoji classroom slide from Google Slides um, into your Canvas course. Um, I know that you have your home page set, but there might be a time that you want to put a slide deck in for another reason. So I just thought I'd capture it on video to make sure um, that we both know what we're doing. So I appreciate you taking the time to meet with me yesterday, and thanks, thank you for your patience. Um, as we were kind of hashing through the best way to go about this. So just to start um, with my, my classroom here, one of the big things that Hugh and I learned last, um, yesterday is that if you are going to edit anything, it cannot be edited through the page in Canvas, but it does have to be linked um, and done all, you know, all of the editing needs to occur in the slides mode. So once you have it the way you want it, you've got your slides, all you know, your objects in your slide all linked and everything is the way that you want it. Then we're going to go ahead and go to file and then publish to the web. So I'm gonna scroll down here to do that. When I publish to the web, I'm gonna get the embed code by clicking embed and then I'm gonna publish. And yes, I'm sure. And then I'm going to copy that embed code. And then I'm going to take it over to whatever the page is that I want to put it on um, in Canvas. So I do need to have some place to glue down, so to speak, our Google Slides. So I'm going to edit this page. And then I'm going to come over to the second row. It's over from the left to Insert Media. Click Embed. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in here and then click OK. Then I'm going to make sure to click Save or Save and Publish if I'm ready to do that. And so there we go. So um, one thing to keep in mind is, which is awesome, is that anytime I want to go back and make any changes um, to update, all I need to do is go back and edit it in here. And then when I refresh my Canvas page, it will be updated and ready to go for my students to use. So hopefully this video helps. If you have any other questions or if you need any help at all this year, please let me know. I am happy to help, friend. See you soon.